This is Mark Krikorian from the Center for Immigration Studies. We're at the Nogales, Arizona port of entry. Uh, we're in the Arizona side and Mexico is about 100 yards behind me. And uh, what we've learned that if the administration does in fact shut ports of entry, especially if they do only the pedestrian and passenger car ports of entry, which apparently is what they're considering, it would have relatively little effect on the broad national economy, though it would uh, certainly be disruptive in border communities like Nogales. An important point, though, is that the people whose travel would be interrupted, many of them would be people who are students in Mexico, who are Mexican, who are simply going to schools in the United States, which is not supposed to be allowed, and people with border crossing cards, which is a kind of visa that the State Department gives to people who live in Mexican border communities, but it's not for employment. It's just for shopping and that sort of thing. And what actually happens is every morning, there are long lines of people from Mexico trying to come into the U.S. with their border crossing cards to go to jobs. Those are illegal jobs. And so actually shutting down the pedestrian crossings on the Mexican border could actually uh, highlight a lot of the problems that exist here. People working illegally, people coming to school illegally. So it may or may not be a good idea. The administration may or may not do it in order to pressure Mexico. But if it were to happen, it actually would shed some light on problems that really exist in some of these border communities.